Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Hardworking Americans have called on Congress to stop Obamacare. While they expect that Washington elites will deride their message and disparage their cause, they're here because they understand the consequences of Obamacare's oppressive mandates. Back home over the month of August, I heard from parents who pay higher premiums only to have health coverage drop for their spouse. I've talked with Hoosiers who make ends meet with two part-time jobs after their hours were cut. I've seen the discouragement of neighbors who hope this is finally the week that they'll find work. Americans know that this isn't what a recovery looks like, but they wonder if Washington even cares. President Obama told them to trust the bureaucrats, the same bureaucrats who gave carve-outs to big business and kickbacks to big government. Republicans told them, we have a different plan. We promise to stop Obamacare and put patients ahead of politics. As Obamacare's October 1st deadline approaches, those families wonder if we really mean it. Mr. Speaker, now is the time to keep that promise. Now, when it really matters, we must stop Obamacare.